The world is changing. Since the beginning of time, a small minority who value knowledge over ignorance, truth over deception, freedom over security, and responsibility over slavery, have quietly held the world on their shoulders. These are the producers. Their ideas create the food we eat, the clothes we wear, the cars we drive, and the roofs over our heads. Without them, the world crumbles. A second group has also existed. Those who live not to bring value into the world, but only to take it out. Those who feel the world owes them a favor, that wealth and prosperity are the result of luck, that money is the root of all evil, yet they want more of it, that high returns come from high risk, and that it takes money to make money. These are the consumers. They make the most noise and the most demands. They get the most attention and they cry the loudest for equality. Their theories and beliefs have dominated the media and popular opinion for millennia. But the verdict is in. The mindset of fear, poverty, and scarcity has been tried, and it has failed. The age of the consumer is over. The producers are arising. The producer revolution has begun. The producer revolution is really about empowering people to achieve their highest potential. It's so easy to look and say, but what about this? I was going to be successful, or I was going to have the, the ideal life, but this event happened. And if we focus on the event that happened versus what we can do in that next moment, that's victimhood. It doesn't matter what challenge comes your way. You're not going to become a victim. You're going to use that as a situation to understand and learn because you have a choice in this moment. I believe the reason why people struggle so much to attain the level of happiness that they desire is because naturally, as humans, we attach ourselves to other people's ideas. It's easier than coming up with our own or discovering the truths that will lead us to the happiness that we want. Unfortunately, the ideas that most people attach themselves to facilitate questions like, am I going to have enough money to live the life that I want to live? Am I going to have a job that I enjoy as I work all these years of my life? Am I going to have a tragedy in my life that affects me and my family? All of these ideas lead someone to think that life is about what you can lose. So many times, even if we do see opportunities to change our life, we're afraid. We're afraid of what the consequences might be or of the unknown. And even though we might not be happy, at least the routine is something we're familiar with. As Les would teach people about being a producer and having a paradigm shift, and as they would be exposed to that message, they would start to see the possibility of living a life they loved. And living to the potential you're here on the earth to live to is something that you can do, and that as you do it, that fear dissipates, and that happiness and that joy and that excitement begins to fill you and begins to be contagious and fill the people around you. It's understanding principles, natural laws of the universe that are all around us, that are happening whether we recognize them or not. It's in recognizing those principles that we understand that what a wonderful life it is to have in our mind all the time. How can I create value for everyone that I come in contact with? The world is changing. Since the beginning of time, a small minority who value knowledge over ignorance, truth over deception, freedom over security, and responsibility over slavery, have quietly held the world on their shoulders. These are the producers.